80% of strokes that we see are due to a blood clot. And a lot of these blood clots are from atrial fibrillation. The blood pools in the heart, it forms a clot, and it goes to the brain and causes a stroke. Now, a small percentage of strokes can be seen in patients less than 50. The two main reasons that we see is number one, a dissection or tearing of the blood vessels. So typically this is gonna occur after a trauma to the neck, a whiplash injury, a lot of times we see it after a car accident, or sometimes if patients are doing grappling maneuvers or wrestling maneuvers and having their neck manipulated in funny different ways, they'll oftentimes within 24 to 48 hours have neurological symptoms. And number two will be any type of what we call hypercoagulable state or hypercoagulable disorder. And in those situations, you have a propensity to form blood clots and usually they're gonna be genetic. So a lot of times if you have a family history of clotting, you know, blood clots in the legs and the lungs and the brain, you know, you're gonna be a, uh, especially those in uh, patients less than age 50, you're gonna be at increased risk of having a stroke, especially if there's a genetic condition uh, that runs in your family.